Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. Um, that's the second video from the last one where we created a simpler text speech synthesizer in Python. And today uh, we will integrate this text speech synthesizer into um, a Python server and deploy it online so we can so anyone can test it. So let me show you how the last product looks like. Uh, this is uh, how the product will work. We will actually have this uh, text input where we type anything we want to read. Like, for example, just type this title. Yes. And we have to put to check this uh, captcha to avoid spam. And then click on this, we get the output, we can play it. Meet Martha, the best text to speech synthesizer ever. Yeah, and we can download it and listen to Meet it. Meet Martha. The best text-to-speech synthesizer ever. Okay, so that's it. Let's get right into the code. The last time we stopped here and uh, in this part we'll take care of the recapture. Perfect, so everything is done here. Um, okay, so let me show you the front end. At least a static file on the front end. Here is it, it's used Taiwan CSS. I just import some fonts and um, the recapture module from Google. And I just coded everything with uh, Taiwan. So yeah, I can just open it so you can see it. Uh, open it live server. Yeah, so it looks like this. Use hide the text. You check the recapture, you click on get audio from text, and it show box here with um, with uh, the audio itself and the download button. So the only thing we have to integrate on the front end is actually the API. And um, I think it's done here. We just need to integrate it from the front end part. So we are almost good to go. The front end is complete. We have the recapture. We have um, everything implemented. All we need here is actually the, the audio file is provided from the front end. We just need to protect the front end recapture from the um, to handle the recapture from the front end and uh, validate it. So for that, as recapture needed some information, some secret information, we need to integrate a module Python module called um, Python.env and to install it. We just have to. Type here pip install python dot f. I think I have it installed, so it will not download something anymore. And by the way, I think we have to create a file here called um, recommend the pi. So we don't have to ah the text. So we don't have to track the recommend manually. And for that, we need to install Flask. I think uh, the, la the latest version of Flask is actually the, okay. Let's just continue. We'll put it after Python. That uh, this is zero point twenty one point zero. Yeah, we we'll need TTS also. Then for TTS, I think we have the last latest version is now. 0 0.8.0 yeah and the flask version they just try to install it okay we have it here 1.1.2 mm -hmm. okay so everything's good here perfect so we were here in this view part. So we need to integrate the recapture. First, we need to create a file here called .f. We will put some basic secret for the recapture. We call this variable recapture. Site secret. Let's say it's just a random word, I'll just fill it after. Um, and we need to import it here, at least to write it here. 
And for that, we need to import the request module because we'll have to do a request to Google. So here, let's just do it quickly here. It's like response, this is called to request. That post, um, I think we have already HTTPS, www.google.com slash recapture. I don't know if I'm writing it right, the right way. Uh, slash API slash site verify. Yes, and um, we need to pass the data. That will be this. We need to pass the um, secret. For, for that, we need to call os.envy run. That get this name. And uh, we also are okay, so we need to import OS here. We also need um, another variable called uh, response. That's a response from the front end, it's a token that the front end just provides to us. And for that, we'll have to get it from the request. So it's just request dot form. I think it's called, um, what is it called again? Uh, G. Uh, recapture response recapture not response okay great so if we get this we have to check if this statue of the response the statue calls is equal equal to 200 so everything was good we do a data is equal to response the JSON and we just check also if the data of uh, success can you fit to see okay so if all of these are verified somehow we then can continue our request otherwise we just return uh, please check the recapture no, no, this is C here. That request. Perfect. So, what else? I think uh, instead of just providing this, we can provide it as a JSON. Error. Um, but anyway, it's not important. Ah, let's just give it and uh, yeah, error. Same thing here. Error. Good. So, what else do we need? Uh, we need to test this, but to test it, we need. Um, okay, okay. We need HTTPS um, route because this local host is not supported in the. At least with this um, port, it's not supported in the recapture admin panel. So. What can we do? Uh, we can use ngrock to serve it and uh, put the um, URL into the valid um, Google uh, recapture domains, into the supported domains. Yes, let's do it quickly. A few minutes later. Okay, so. Okay, so after a moment, we were able to get this uh, added to um, recapture um, supported domains. So, uh, what we can do here is actually to check if everything is good with uh, this list. I will have to fill the dot n variable first, so let's do it quickly. A few moments later. Okay, so that's done. So let's check quickly. Test, we check that. Great. And we send it back to back end. Uh, running again, network. This error somewhere. Okay, I have this recapture stuff. Okay, just test it quickly and um, no, the preview. Type error key must be a string. Ooh. Okay. Not methods. Just save it. And then. The we are down. Try it again. Uh, 
Uh, do I have to fill my own recapture? Verify. No way. Um, verify. Good. Painting. Thinking too much time. Oh, perfect. But I think there's an error with the audio. Great, working. Okay, so let's just put a normal long text to see if it works. I'm not a robot. Oh, no way. Again? I can't even see them. Okay, great. Write your text below and click on Get Audio from Text. Generate text for an infinite amount of text with no limit. Perfect. So our front end is integrated into our back end and everything's good. But you have to test uh, other cases like right here when we have this um, recapture not checked. We'll say if it, yeah, perfect, check the recapture. If we don't have the text, we check the recapture. Next. Oh, no way. There's no bicycle here. Okay. So, if we don't have it, we'll say, please check the text and the capture again. So that's perfect. Everything is working. And uh, I think we'll stop here. It's been maybe 10 minutes and or more. In the next video, I will just uh, show how to dockerize this simple API and um, deploy it on the VPS. Um, yeah, on the VPS actually. Yeah, so let's see you in the next video.